Hello viewers, welcome to UNC Digital class. In today's class, I am going to discuss about balanced aerial tree. We have already discussed about the unbalanced binary search tree. If some disadvantages are arises in unbalanced binary search tree. That is the tree is going on in one side. That means that is in left search tree or right search tree. That is the tree is go on increasing the depth. So we will be overcome this increasing order of the tree depth by using avial tree. Though we have already discussed about some concepts of avial tree and in today class I am going to discuss about the insertion procedure in avial tree and whenever we inserting a node in avial tree how can we balance the tree by calculating the balance factor of every node those are present in the tree. Let us see the insertion processor and creations of avial tree by using different nodes. So first we will be discuss about the insertion in avial tree. Insertion in the avial tree means whenever we insert a node in the avial tree that node is need to be rebalancing. Suppose consider that node is alpha and when we go for the insertion processor there are four cases are arises that is outside case and inside case ok in outside we have two cases are there outside case means we are requiring single rotation if the node need to be rebalancing and in that case the situation is arises in two different cases that means the when insertion into left sub tree of the left child is alpha that means when we insert a node that is the left child of the left sub tree then in that case the node is alpha is need to be rebalanced and in second case the insertion into right sub tree of the right child of the alpha that means alpha need to be rebalanced when the right sub tree of the right child of the node alpha is inserted and in that case the balance factor of the node alpha may exceed from 1 that means that may be plus 2 or minus 2 or more than 8. So these are the two cases these two cases are known as the outside cases and in these in these two cases we require a single rotation ok and the second one is your inside case inside case means in that case the node required double rotation. So when the inside cases are arises the insertion into right sub tree of the left child of the alpha. So alpha is the node which need to be rebalancing when we insert a node at the right sub tree of the left child of the node alpha. This is the third case when we need the node to be rebalanced and the fourth case insertion into left sub tree of the right child of the alpha. That means the insertion is going in at the left sub tree of the right child in that case the node alpha need to be rebalanced. The rebalancing is performed through four different rotations algorithm and we will be briefly discuss about these four different cases with one simple example. In BST we have seen that when we insert the node in ascending order the tree is going increasing in depth. So here we will be see one example when we insert the node in ascending order how the tree is grow in depth and in that case it the node a particular node having exceeding its balance factor from minus 1 or exceeding from 1 then in that case we need to rebalancing the node by using these four different rotations. Let us see the rotations algorithm then after we will be see the examples for inserting node in avial tree. So this is our first case avial tree insertion outside case. Outside cases arises in two different cases when we insert a node at the right sub tree of the right child and second case is when we insert the node at the left sub tree of the left child. So let us consider this is our balance tree or avial sub tree and this is the node structure and when we want to insert a node that is inserting into x that means you can see h are the height of the tree. So let us consider this is a balance tree or valid avial sub tree and we want to execute one outside cases this one is the second case 
when I want to insert a node at the left subtree of the left child, ok. So, inserting into X destroy the evil tree property at node J. That means, we can see here the I am mentioning the height of the tree. This node, this tree having or this subtree having height S, this is also having height S and this is also height S. And if we calculating height of this node that is H plus 1, that means from J to H. And whenever I insert a node at the left subtree of the left child, that means this is the left subtree for the node J and I want to inserting a node at the node X. And whenever I inserting it, the height became H plus 1. That means you can see from height this to this is H plus 1. And whenever I calculating the balance factor of J, and when insert the node at the node X, the node J became in balance or the node J destroy the property of the ABL tree. So, just calculate the balance factor for this node. Whenever calculating this, you can see the height of this node is H plus 1 plus 1 that is H plus 2 and when I subtracting this X, it contain plus 2. That means the height is in balancing or the ability property is destroyed in node J. So, as it destroying the ability property, so it need to be rebalanced. The node J need to be rebalanced or how can it will be rebalanced? By using different rotations, we can balance the node J. So, let us see the rotations. So, we need to rotate this. In this case, it need right rotation because we are inserting node at the left subtree of the left child and when we rotate in into the right subtree you can see this subtree or this A's will be removed and this will be also removed. So, you can see the pictorial representation the A's from K to Y is removed and the A's from J to K is also removed. That means when we rotate it in right rotation so what will be the result see this is the result. That means, K became the root node, K is the root node and this J became the right subtree, ok. So, J became the right subtree and X is as usual the left subtree of the K and the inserted new node is also the left, sub left child of the node X and as J is the root node and when we rotate J, it becomes the right child of K. And the Y which is the right child of K becomes the left child of J and J which is the right child of J as usual, ok. So, this is the right rotation for the node J when it need rebalancing, ok. So, right rotation is now done and you can just calculate the balance factor for this tree and you will be see the tree satisfy the avial tree property. If we calculating balance factor of this node, you can see this having height 1 and the node is here the inserted new node 2. So, it is also the right subtree height is 1 and 2. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, K having balance factor 0. So, we can say this node is balanced in the same process. We will be calculate the balance factor for all the nodes. So, X is also having balance factor 1. And here J having balance factor 0 because it contain a single child in left subtree and single child in right subtree. So, the balance factor of J is also 0. So, all the nodes those are present in this ABL tree having balance factor 1 or less than 1, ok. So, we can see. So, this tree is satisfy ABL tree property by rotating in right rotation, ok. So, this is the one case of the outside rotation and another case is outside rotation is left rotation and when the left rotation is required, when we insert a node at the right subtree of the right child in the same process, it needs left rotation, ok. So, this is the example of outside case or algorithm pictorial representation for outside case that is right rotation and left rotation these two are the single rotation. Next we will be see one case from inside case, ok. Inside case is required when we insert a node at the right subtree left child and the left subtree right child in that case the inside case is arises. 
let us consider this is a valid FBL factory and you just calculate the valence factor you can see all load having valence factor less than or equals to 1 and in this case we are executing one inside case. Suppose inserting into Y destroy the availability property or J. You can see here Y is the leak node and when we insert a node in this case, okay, this case is what? This is the left subtree right child, okay. You can see we are inserting at the left subtree at the node J at the right child, okay. When we insert a node at Y, then the node J we can destroy the property of ABL tree. So, this is the case of left subtree right child. Okay. See, when we insert this, it will become imbalanced. So, height of this K is minus 1. But if we calculate the, sorry, the balance factor of this node is minus 1. And if we calculate the balance factor for this node, just calculate it. So, 1, 2, 3 is the height from J to new node and this is 1. So, if we subtract 3 minus 1 that is 2 plus 2. So, when it becomes plus 2 it exceeds from 1. So, now the tree is imbalanced by inserting a node at the right subtree at the left subtree right child. Okay. So, when the tree destroy or the node J destroy the well tree property we need to rotate it. The question is that does right rotation restore balance? No. In this case we need double rotation. Okay. Let us see how it will be executed by using double rotation. Okay. Right rotation does not restore the balance. Now it is out of balance. Okay. If we rotate in right rotation see this is our original tree and if we make it right rotation because we are inserting at the left subtree right child. So, if you rotate in right child then the k becomes the root node and j is the right subtree and in the same process we can see when we rotate in right subtree so k is the root node j is the right subtree and x is as usual the left subtree for k and the right subtree of k becomes the left child of the node j and z is the right subtree of the node j which is as usual. Okay. But still it imbalance because you can see if we calculate the height of this node k it is now minus 2. Okay. So, because height is 1, 2, 3 and in the left subtree the height is 1. If you subtract 1 minus 3 it becomes minus 2 which is greater than 1 or which is not 1 minus 1 or 0. So, in this case we need to rebalance the tree again. So, consider this structure. Okay. So, when it will be again rotated. Okay. After rotating the tree we can balance. Okay. So, consider the structure of the subtree Y. So, you just see that by making right rotation the tree still does not balance. So, consider the tree as usual. So, we have just seen that by making it right rotation, the tree still is not balanced. So, comes to the as usual tree position, consider the case of Y. Here we are inserting the node, that means the node is inserted at the left, left, left subtree right child. So, how can we make it balanced? We make it balanced by using double rotation. Okay. So, see how it will be rotated. So, this is our tree and now we make it in double rotation. When you make it double rotation, the tree becomes like this. Okay. So, now the tree is right, rotation is complete and the balance has been restored. Okay. Now, we will be save one example by inserting the node in ascending order. Uh, we have already discussed one example inserting node in ascending order in BS tree. If you inserting node ascending order in BS tree, then it will be increase in depth okay, and which makes the tree unbalanced. But we are creating the avial tree and we are inserting the node in ascending order. Okay. So, let us consider the first nodes are 1, 2, 3. So, first insert 3, then 2, then 1. If we insert a node 3, then it will be the root node, then 2 is less from 3. So, it will be inserted as the left child. Again, we are inserting 1 
which is again left from 3 as usual from 2. So, it will be inserted at the left child. So, when we insert a node at the left sub 3 of the left child, the node 3 becomes unbalanced. Just calculate the balance factor that is 1, 2 and in right sub 3 there is no node. So, this node 3 having balance factor plus 2. So, in this case it need the single rotation. If we rotate this then you can see the 2 becomes the root node and 3 is the right child and 1 is the left child. Okay? So, now calculate the balance factor for this tree for every node 1 having balance factor 0, 3 having balance factor 0 and 2 having balance factor the left subtree height is 1, right subtree height is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, we can say this tree satisfy the avl tree property because the balance factor of every node those are present in the avl tree are 0. So, now we will be see next node insertion. So, next we will be insert the node 4. Okay? So, first compare 4 with 2 as usual like your BST insertion, but in this case we will be balance the tree. So, first compare 4 with 2 as 4 is greater from 2. So, comes from the right subtree. Again it will be compared with 3. So, 4 is greater from 3. So, 4 will be inserted at the right subtree, right child of the node 2. Okay? Then again we will be insert 5. In the same process we will be compare 5 with 2. It will be greater from 2. Then again 5 is greater from 3. Then again 5 is greater from 4. So, we will be insert 5 at the uh, right subtree right child. Okay? And when we insert it, you can see this is in balance. The node 3 is in balance because if you calculate the balance factor, then the balance factor for this node is 1, 2 and the left sub 3 having balance factor 0. So, 0 minus 2 that is minus 2. As it has balance factor minus 2, so this node need to be rebalanced and for this we will be do a single rotation. And the case is we are inserting a node at the right subtree right child. So, we will be rotate the tree like this. So, when we rotate this 4 becomes the root node of the subtree and 3 is the left child and 5 is the right child. So, this is our avial tree or this every node of the tree having balance factor less than or equals to 1 minus 1 or 0. Okay? So, next we will be insert next node in ascending order that is next we will be insert 6. So, first compare 6 with 2. So, 6 is greater from 2 then compare 6 with 4. So, 6 is again greater from 4 then compare with 5. So, 6 is greater from 5. So, just insert 6 at the right child of the node 5. So, calculate the balance factor and if we are calculating balance factor. So, this node having balance factor. 1 minus 2 that is minus 1, but if we calculate balance factor for this node, then the left sub tree having 1 child, so the height is 1 and the right child having height is 3. So, 1 minus 3 that is minus 2. So, as this node having balance factor minus 2, so this node need to be rebalanced. So, in this case we also perform a single rotation and if we make single rotation, you can see 4 becomes root node and 2, 1 at the left child of the node 4 and 3 becomes the right child of the node 2 okay? and 5, 6 as usual the right subtree of the node 4. Okay? So, this is our required avial tree. You can see 3 which is the left child of the node 4 becomes the right child for node 2 that means the left child of the left subtree of the node 4 and 5, 6 is as usual the right child and then Next, the tree is balanced. So, next we will be insert the node 7. When we insert the node 7, you can see 7 is again compared with the root node 4 and then 7 is as greater from the root node 4, then we will compare 7 with 5. Okay? So, as it is greater from 5, then again it will be go for the right child, again it will be compared with 6. So, as it is greater from 6, so it will be inserted at the right child of the node Six. And when we insert it, you can see this node is in balance. So, when this node is in balance, you can see the new node is inserted as the right child of the right subtree of this node. So, this node is need to be rooted and in this case we need a single rotation. If we make single rotation, 
then 6 becomes the root node of the right subtree and 5 is the left, left child and 7 is the right child, ok. So, see 6 is the root node for the right subtree and 5 is the left child and 7 is the right child and you just calculate the valence factor for every node those are present in this FL tree you can see the valence factor must not exceed from 1, minus 1 or 0. So, we can say this tree is a height balance tree. Then suppose you want to insert the in the similar process we will be insert all the nodes from 8, 9, 7 like this. Suppose in this case I want to insert 16 ok. So, 16 is again compared with root as it is greater from root node. So, it will go for the right subtree. Again it will be compared with 6. So, it is greater from 6. So, again it will be go for 7. Then it will be compared with 7. So, as, as it is greater from 7. So, it will be inserted at the right child of the node 7 ok. So, system is inserted and when system is inserted you can see if the tree is balanced or unbalanced just calculate the valence factor for every node those are present in the AVL tree. So, calculate the valence factor of this root node. If we calculate the valence factor then it becomes the height of the left subtree is 1, 2 and the height of the right subtree is 1, 2, 3. So, 2 minus 3 that is minus 1. So, this node is balanced in similar process we will be calculate the valence factor for this node. So, height is 1 and the valence factor for this node is 1 minus 2 because in the right subtree the height is 2. So, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, this node is also balanced. In the same process if we calculate the valence factor for each and every node then you can see the tree having every node of the tree having valence factor is 0 minus 1 or plus 1. So, we can say the tree is balanced or it is a real tree. So, next we will be inside the node 15 ok and when we go for inserting 15 then 15 is inserted as the left child of this node and this is what this is the right child left node ok. So, and when we insert this you can see this node is in balance because the balance factor for this node is plus 2 and when this node is in balance you just see the node is inserted at which location of this node. The node is inserted as the right subtree left child. So, it need the double rotation that is this is the case of inside case ok. So, in step 1 we will be rotate the child and grandchild ok. So, first we will be rotate this and then after again we will be rotate the rotate node and new child. When we do the first rotation we will get this that means you can see this is the previous tree ok. You just rotate it and when we rotate it the tree becomes like this. 7 is as usual position and 15 becomes the root and 16 is the right child of this node ok. After rotating still you can see the balance factor for this node is also plus minus 2 ok. The balance factor for this node is minus 2. So, this node is also need to be another notation and if you rotate it you can see 15 becomes the root node and 7 is the left child and 16 is the right child of this node. So, 15 is the root node and 7 is the left child and 16 is the right child. If you calculate the valence factor of every node those are present in this several tree you will get 0, minus 1 or plus 1 ok. So, in this way we can insert all the nodes and we will make rotation to make the tree every tree. So, insert the node 14, 15 and in this process we will be insert all the nodes and finally, we will get our final tree and which is our balanced AVL tree ok. You can just calculate this is our final tree and all the nodes those are present in this AVL tree having balance factor 0, minus 1 or plus 1 ok. So, this is all about your insertion procedure in AVL tree and how can we make the tree balance by executing different cases in outside we have two cases and in inside we have another two cases by using four different cases we can rotate the tree to make the tree balanced ok. So, keep watching till then thank you.